Hello, I'm Evangelist Kisoba. I trust you are good and you are enjoying the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. May the name of the Lord be praised to live in Jesus' name. Amen. There is important passage of the Bible I would like us to discuss. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for today and for the undeserved privilege you are giving to us to see the light of today. Forgive our sins and our shortcomings. Sanctify us with the holy blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for forgiving us. As we are about to share from you, I ask, O oh Lord, that you hear us through your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Um, Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 22. Return, faithless people. I will cure you of backsliding. Yes, we will come to you. For you are the Lord our God. Hosea chapter 14 verse 4. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger is turned away from him. Praise God. Dear listener, I want to announce to you that God is willing to restore, to heal, to bring back his people to his land. Amen. I don't know whether you are a backslider or you are planning to backslide. God is a merciful God. God is the mighty healer and he will restore. But how do we know a backslider? Number one, you don't love God the way you used to. Anytime your love for God started diminishing, there is a problem. If you are no longer interested in things of God, no more hunger for God, You are now sliding back. Number two. Whenever you find it difficult to pray, you see prayer as a burden. There is a problem. Examine yourself. How is your prayer life? Are you still praying? Or are you now sleeping? Are you not tired, you know, tired of praying? Amen. Number three, reading scriptures is a body now. If I may ask you, when last did you read your Bible? How is your Bible study life now? As a child of God, filled with the Spirit of God, Bible reading is mandatory. We have to read the Bible every day. It's our daily food to our spirit. Amen. Number four, you don't witness to the lost anymore. If I may ask, when last did you 
preach the gospel. When last did you say to someone, Jesus saves? Number five, your worship life is done. You are no longer worshiping God. You are no longer singing praises to God. You are no longer serving God to his glory. You are no longer worshiping God in truth and in, in spirit. Amen. Number six. Let's see the Bible. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. Jesus said, But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4 Neither feel filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting which are not convenient but rather giving Thanks. You are no longer talking as a child of God. You are not. You are not speaking as you like. You know. No wonder David said, "God, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight." Something is taken over your heart. It must be dealt with now. Tomorrow may be too late. Whatever you are doing, do it now. And God is willing to restore you now as you hear my voice. Amen. We will look into the consequences of backsliding. Number one, when you backslide, you become a coward. And you know what it, it means to be a coward. Even in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, the Bible said that their portion is in the lake of fire. Number two, as a backslider, you have no power. You become a powerless person. And it is dangerous to live on, on this edge. Powerless. We are in the world of power. So therefore, you as a child of God, you are a child of power. Because he says, it shall come to pass that he will leave his spirit upon you. And you shall receive the Holy Ghost. And you will be with his witness from Jerusalem Judea, Samaria, to the utmost part of the earth. You need power. And that's why it is important that you come back to God for you to be a child of power. Number three, you have, as a bus ride, as a bus rider, you have no testimony. The highest testimony on earth is that your name is written in book in the book of life. So, if you are a bus rider, you have no testimony. Number four, as a bus rider, you can only talk about things in the past. You are now disconnected from the you know, divine current. The power is no longer flowing. No more miracle. No more signs and wonders. You now talking about the things of the past. What you did 20 years ago. Five years ago, 
Number five, you can't smile anymore. No more joy. No more joy. No more smile. You can't smile anymore. Yes. This is the hour of reflection. You examine yourself, whether you are still in the faith. There is no time. We are in the high time. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Number six, you have no boldness in the face of trials. No more boldness. No one, the Bible said that the righteous is as bold as a lion. Number seven, you live as if you have no hope. Any one that turn away from the Lord has no hope. You be a hopeless person. And unbelievers will look and say, if this is his God, I don't want him. You your life will even frustrate people, you know. Cause people not to believe in God. There are too many consequences of bus riding. Amen. Remember, many people depends on you as a child of God. If you bus ride, it will be a disaster. Many people will backslide. It is important that you come back to the Lord today. He is calling you to turn back. That He is willing to restore you. He is willing to heal you. I know Jonah was a great man of God. You know, he basrived from the will of God and went in his own direction. But God sent storm to bring him back to the right path. So, your basriding could be the reason why you are suffering. You are basalizing Kubilism why you are being tortured by the storm. Come back to the Lord today. Every storm will come. Jesus comes, the storm is sea. Jesus is willing to restore you. <clears throat> Amen. Um, let's see first Peter chapter 5 verse 10. Amen. And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. If you come back to the Lord today, He is promising because He is gracious God. He will He promised to make you strong and firm and steadfast that you will not fall again. I don't know you are you are falling state. I don't know where you are, but Jesus is willing to restore you. Remember, backsliding generally first begins with neg you know, neglect of private prayer. Go back to your altar. Let the fire be rekindled. Pray with your season. 
Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse, verse 11. Praise God. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Dearly beloved, you have to strive for full restoration. Don't say that it's over. There is hope. As long as you are still bleeding, there is hope for you. Jesus is willing to restore you. To give you power. To serve him. To worship him in truth and in spirit. And to heal the kingdom of God. It is well with you. It is well with your Christian life. It is well with your spiritual life. It is well with your destiny. You are ministering. It is well with your calling in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? Amen. Dear Lord, behold your son and your daughter. I want to ask, O oh Lord, as they made up their mind today to return back to you. Lord, you promised to receive them, to heal them, to restore them, to make them strong, firm, and steadfast. Lord, confine your word and be glorified. Now that at the end of everything, your name will be glorified forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dearly beloved, it is well with you. Continue with the Lord. Pray with your season. Meditate on the word of God. Study the Bible. Go for your evangelism. Do things that pleases the Lord. You will smile. And joy will not depart from you anymore. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.